get going and then get good. Nobody cares. Nobody is paying attention. Nobody is keeping score. Well, maybe a few people are, but their judgments of you and what you are doing are insignificant and say more about them than they do about you. The world is a fun house and we are each other's fun house mirrors. Distorted projections walking in and out of cheesy made for TV movies called things like Phantom in the Park. And now Kiss have entered the building. Gene Simmons spitting blood and breathing fire wearing tights and a spiked shiny cod piece, overweight and in an outfit with tiny bat wings. Imagine the first time they put that makeup on and the ridiculousness of it. Had they allowed the ridiculing judgment of the myriad of phantoms in their heads decide for them anything at all, they would be selling insurance at a truck stop for the damned or doing other people's taxes rather than, rather than inspiring nations of delinquents to pick up the mantle of rock and roll. So what is your kiss makeup? What is the wacky actions you must take to bring your dream into reality that can only blossom outside of the reach of other people's judgments? And by other people's judgment, I really mean the judgments you assume they are having because in truth, nobody really cares. And to the degree that you think somebody does is really just a red flag of an unhealthy attachment you have to that individual. Nobody has any more power over you than the power you give them, even if you are attacked by a group of people in some kind of social media, social shame pile on. This is also an illusion. You are in the matrix. Everything's a reflection of you. If your mother calls with constant criticism, read a book on boundaries and establish some. Don't pick up the phone every time she calls and get busy carving your dream because nobody cares, not even her really, and that's a good thing because that's liberation, to put on the figure to face paint and breathe fire if that's what needs to happen to fulfill your vision. All that's not to say that people won't attempt to slow you down or say an underhanded thing aimed at stopping you because that progress you're making is hella annoying. It's reminded them of the progress they are not making. They wish you would stop. Of course they do. That's just human nature. But they don't really care. Even if what you're doing is bad, they will be jealous of the forward momentum you are accumulating. They aren't bad people. They are just falling prey to human nature. So be liberated in your massive action. And when the phantoms of judgment descend, know that they are very much illusions. Even if they are tackling you in some back alley, it's all a dream. And I can't remember who said it, but in relationship to this, get going and then get good. Start stuff, start posting, start writing, start battling on the actual battlefield of your dreams before you have any right to. Make the mistakes in public. Reassess the situation and reassess the situation again in front of everybody. Get going and then get good. Don't think about it. Don't imagine it. <laughs> Don't curate your entry into the universe of your chosen field of expertise as some fully developed wonder kind because that's really just not how things work. Your voice develops in the using of it. You can't become an expert by imagining the process. You have to actually go through the process. You have to be willing to be bad at what you want to be good at. And you have to be willing to do that in public, in front of those people who bullied you in high school, in front of parents who let you down and told you you would be a failure, in front of that person you have a crush on, or those friends who get to gossiping as soon as you leave the room. You have to be willing to suck in front of them and display massive amounts of embarrassing effort. You have to put on makeup and breathe fire while singing God of Thunder and rock and roll, at least figuratively get going and then get good. I stole that line from somewhere, but there are no new ideas under the sun, and yet you have a unique voice and a way of expressing them. For you to find that voice, you need to allow it to grow, allow it to escape from the cage of other people's supposed judgments. They really are just an illusion, symbolic of a concern it is your job to let go of as you display wildly and even proudly the first terrible attempt towards building whatever it is you're gonna build. Get going 
and then get good. <laughs> <laughs>